Sarah Palin's all revved up, but could she ride all the way to the White House? It's the question on everyone's mind as she steps up high-profile outings like this one in the nation's capital. The former Republican vice presidential nominee hasn't officially come out as a candidate for the 2012 race, but she's acting a lot like one, preparing to cruise America in this bus. This isn't a campaign bus. This is a bus to be able to express to America how much we appreciate our foundation and to invite more people to be interested in all that is good about America. There's no shortage of Republicans eager to take Barack Obama's spot, but few with national appeal or even name recognition. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney made a first stab at it in 2008, and some say he hasn't stopped campaigning since, bankrolled largely by his personal fortune. He leads the GOP polls for now, but there are concerns he's too moderate to win over Republicans nationwide. Other stalwart conservatives may do better, like the former governor of Minnesota, Tim Pawlenty, who is pledging to chop federal spending, or Rick Santorum, a former senator and right-winger on social issues like abortion. Like Palin, Michelle Bachman is a crowd-pleaser among conservative women and the far-right Tea Party, especially with her attack on President Obama's health care reforms. I am committed to repealing Obamacare. All of it. The opposition Republicans have eight months to find a nominee tough enough to take on the incumbent. For his part, Barack Obama doesn't have any Democratic competition to speak of and can save his campaign money for later. And he's gotten a recent boost in polls. Against any Republican contender, he's slated for now to sail to an easy re-election.